Hi everyone, my name is David Bayless and today we'll be reviewing together the RTX A6000 and see how we can push real-time graphics to achieve photorealistic results in automotive rendering. The key aspects that I look for in my work is the highest fidelity output out of real-time using features such as real-time ray tracing and being able to output high-resolution renders in a short amount of time. The main softwares I use are 3ds Max, where I typically do the pre-setup of my scene and do all the necessary work on the car before importing into Unreal Engine. Now once inside Unreal, this is where I do all the lighting and shading for final render and also experiment with different car paints and see what fits best. Having all of this happening in real time is extremely helpful. So here are my current PC specs. I have an Intel i9-12900K for the CPU, equipped with 32GB of DDR5 RAM, and finally the RTX A6000 for the GPU, which I rely the most for my programs. This is equipped with 48GB of VRAM, which will enable us to load very high resolution textures as well as some high poly assets, 10752 CUDA cores, and finally 84 second gen RT cores which will prove themselves pretty useful for real-time ray tracing. So a few interesting stats in my current scene, we are currently running at around 60 frames per second in pass tracer mode. The A6000 doing a great job maintaining that high frame rate for me. We are having no problem switching between the three different views here. The building that I'm using as a background is a scan asset of over 2 million triangles containing 10 sets of 16K textures. Again, no issues here for the A6000. The overall poly count of my scene is almost 50 million triangles and we are currently using just under 50% VRAM capacity here. So we still have some room if we need some more assets in the scene. Okay, so this is my previous card, which is the A5000. And what I can find doing with the A6000 is render at a much higher resolution without hitting the VRAM limits as I'll be demonstrating right now. In my scene here in UE5 using Path Tracer, using around 15 gigabytes of VRAM, what I'll be doing here is render one still frame in Path Tracer mode at 8K resolution. We can see that we are using 24 gigabytes of VRAM. Now, what happens if I want to push this higher, let's say a 12K resolution, hit render, and now we are using close to 35 gigabytes of VRAM, which wouldn't have been possible to render on the A5000. Here is why rendering at a higher resolution is important for me. A 4K render when zoomed in appears blurry. When we triple the resolution size to 12K, notice how sharp my details remain, making it ideal for editors to dial in extra details or even printing this as a large poster this 12K render took just under 10 minutes to render on the A6000. Now we've seen the benefits of using a single A6000 in my scene for real time. Let's see what happens if I introduce a second A6000 to the mix and see how this can enhance my workflow using the NVLink to connect these two for combined total VRAM memory of 96 gigabytes. Be sure to check out part 2 of this video to see how my dual RTX A6000 perform real-time rendering.